I feel like this is gonna be rough. We need you to track down some cargo that was lost en route and deliver it to our paleontologist friend. Mm. As you know, this shipment contained a 200 million year old ammonite, which looked almost alive, if the finder's account is to be believed. Bro, I don't care. I'm just gonna... <sighs> okay. Cargo collection from Fog. All right. I feel like... An oxygen mask, huh? Good idea. It'll filtrate the air and keep you breathing normally. In addition to protecting you from toxic gas. If it didn't have a limited battery life, I'd tell you to keep it on. I do not care. Yeah, the fun part of the game. The preparation. Yay! It's like I said, man. This game is mostly preparation. I, I mean, a, a lot of it. Oh my god, my boots are gonna be fucked up here man these omni reflector boots are really good but i lost i had a whole i had like two backups of them somewhere and i left them somewhere and i can't remember where so yeah but they're really good boots for being out in the fucking snow and stuff I like how Sam talks shit. You hear him? Got a dirty job? Yeah, Sam's your man, but he sounds like he has a lot of attitude about that. Like, you know, he could be a little sarcastic. Not sure. <sighs> Wait, I'm almost there. What? Really? It says I'm approaching my destination. What is my destination? Boy. Uh. I should really be paying attention to things, shouldn't I? gonna like this here. I just like to like things. It's fun. Let's see how many likes you can give in the, the period of time allotted. I just realized what I'm doing. I was preparing to, like, engage enemies, and then I just realized, like, I'm not engaging enemies. Like, I'm picking shit up. Clear. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. All clear. Welcome. Sam Porter Bridges. All right. All right, let's go. Okay, now we're ready. I don't know why everything takes... This game is all about preparation, so I suppose it's not too crazy that it takes me forever to prepare. Alright, but like... So it's pretty cool when you rest. Okay. Let's just sit here for a second. And like, he'll actually fall asleep while you do this. You can massage your shoulders. I'm gonna stretch my legs. He is a delivery man, you know. Oh wow, just clipping into the the ground here. <laughs> it's because I chose to sit on a a. I'm sitting like backwards. You see this? Like instead of my back being against the slant, my back is like going down. You can legit just fucking sleep, and he'll have dreams and stuff too. Like I said, this game is not meant to be streamed or played for other people, but, uh, you know, I'm doing it anyway. I don't give a shit. We'll see how long I sit here. I'm gonna read something. And in the editing process, I'll just fast forward it. What was I last reading? Elizabeth Frankenstein is the saddest girl on Earth. Elizabeth approved of the reasons of my departure, and only regretted that she had not the same opportunities of enlarging her experience and cultivating her understanding. Mary Shelley, Frankenstein, 1818. Elizabeth is 15 years old, sitting in the audience of a stranger's funeral, and pulling a stem of grass across the back of one bare fingernail. She wears a knee-length black dress with lily-of-the-valley bells crawling across the boat neck, black stockings, and shiny black patent shoes. 
A funeral usher licks his lower lip and smiles, predacious, rapacious, and confident. And Elizabeth fixates on the half-moon scars lining his mouth. He does not know that this is a stranger's funeral. That she is at this stranger's funeral because her Saba has just died. And Saba will not be getting a funeral. No flowers and no mourners. Barely a wet cheek for all his trouble. Because Elizabeth and her grandfather lived on his social security check. Because Elizabeth's mother never came back. Because, because. And then there was suddenly one. Both Elizabeth and Saba's bodies are taken control of by the state. Saba burned into ashes and pitched, Elizabeth given 48 hours to collect her things. But between the lack of funeral and her Ill inability to sit Shiva, Elizabeth fears that Saba will not rest, so she spends one precious hour dressing, one traveling, and one fantasizing that those are Saba's crinkly blankets of blue and white roses, and this is Saba's loving family, sobbing and together. Saba's $3,000 mahogany casket with a plush white velvet interior, the, whale, the rails gleaming and capped with brass. Canvas straps lower the box into the ground and Elizabeth imagines she plays Saba in the casket with her will alone. Elizabeth convinces herself it will fly open, revealing she has traded their dead for her Saba and strangers will throw dirt on Saba's face. As Elizabeth coils herself to flee, another girl about Elizabeth's age stands, gags, and bolts down the gravel away from the funeral. The girl leaves her shiny black patent shoes behind, and Elizabeth stares at her retreating form, sees the way her feet slam into the pavement, watches the stockings ladder up her calves. Elizabeth opens the door with her puffy brown hair swept into a tangle at the top of her head, and Dr. Ernst can hardly believe this has fucking happened. Welcome, Professor. I wasn't expecting you. Especially not with all this. Elizabeth smiles with genuine delight, runs one manicured hand over the panels of a press laboratory coat, and points the other onto the cavern of her apartment. Her hair flops over ornate goggles with a rust-brown leather strap. A series of ocular loops drop over the left eye and a collapsing lens telescopes from the night. Elizabeth holds up a beaker in mock toast. Dr. Ernst stares her eyes. Dr. Ernst narrows her eyes. She prepared for braying, screaming, contortion, fits of rage, sobbing, insensible blabbering, scratching her own face, scratching her own eyes, a gun, a knife, a bomb, one corpse, ten corpses, one hundred corpses, a million of whatever the fuck is currently going on, a portal to hell or an empty house. She had not prepared for a Colin Clive impersonation. Is that a beaker? Elizabeth nods. Yes, Goldschlager. Elizabeth swirls the glass and a tornado of flex explodes upwards. She rests the rim of the beaker against her lower lip, purses her mouth for the poor, and swallows hard. Dr. Ernst reaches for the beaker before the taste leaves Elizabeth's mouth. Aren't you underage? I hardly think that's going to matter anymore, Elizabeth says, and Dr. Ernst knows without a doubt that it is Elizabeth who has done this to us. What does that mean? A woman with a shock of white hair and thick lens glasses snuggles her second husband, a delicate man who loves the smell of sawdust. HDTV shines forth from the television, friendly directions for the construction of a pergola, while the urn containing her first husband, dead 15 years, explodes against the mantel. She thinks, oh no, the hummingbird. He called her, my little hummingbird, colibri, colibri, colibri. When he died, she collected a cream stone urn with a blood red hummingbird. Okay, I think he's having nightmares, so let me just. Alright, it's time to get up. Pack it up. I don't know what the fuck I was just reading, but. Oh, I closed the book, so I guess we'll never know now. It's black, it's a black static. They still send it to me even though I stopped paying for it. And you know what? I'm not gonna stop him. Let's go. Why would I put it? Huh. Well, that's an interesting place to put it, but no. I just want to go down. Where's my sticky gun? This will come in handy. Alright. 
probably put on my mask now, huh? What? Did I miss? There we go. Yeah, this gun is really useful. Oops. Over here? Are you too far away for me to hit? Could be. There seems to be one more. Oh, I actually have to go down there to get to that one, don't I? Son of a bitch. Whoa. Put the gun away. Alright, let's go. Nope. Don't fall over, Sam. Alright, there we go. I probably don't need to get anything else from down here. That was actually an incredibly easy mission. So, uh, I don't know. Alright, we're going back up, Sam. Quit crying. Come on. Probably should take this mask off. Look how quickly it's draining my battery in the bottom left there, by the way. That's why I just used a sticky gun, because I didn't feel like going all the way down there. Oh, uh, somebody wants a rope right here? Well, would you look at that? I bought, I brought a rope. So here you go. Uh-oh. Uh. Alright, take the mask off. I don't want my battery. All right, you know what? Whatever. Let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going. We're going. We're going. We're going. He's coughing and shit. Oh wait, did I come down the wrong way? Oh yeah. Calm down, Sam. We'll be fine. Jesus. Oh, hey. <laughs> okay. Just a little bit. Yeah. I'm running out of fucking battery here, okay? Hello! Hey, you! Alright, let's go. My crooked ass ladder. Would you look at that? Why, wow, I can pass missions in this game much easier than I can in GTA. Alright. God damn, bro. I'm carrying, like, luggage that is, like, super, super important, and I'm just, like, I don't know. I could literally be using my fucking, uh... Just a bit further now. Yes. It really Begin wasn't scan. that far. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. Weapons detected. Why do I keep All trying to go in there to deliver to my the shit? Cargo verified. Thank you. All right, here we are. Here's your crap. Childminder. Wait, what does that trophy even mean? Okay. Delivering cargo. These graphics are fucking amazing. Let me see. I have to see it. Well, what do you have to see, bro? Oh my. It really is immaculately preserved. Uncannily, even. Hmm. Neanderthals are not extinct. Hartman's theory of evolution, umbilical cords in Devonian era fossils. Uh, okay. Well, that sounds like some interesting shit to read.
Thanks for bringing in that lost shipment, Sam. And yes, it did indeed include an ammonite with a bona fide umbilical cord attached. I've already sent some images and a preliminary analysis to Hartman via the network. Interestingly, it seems the surrounding strata contain traces of tar, which lines up with one of his theories. Anyway, I, I know you only just brought this ammonite here, but I'd like you to deliver it to a colleague of mine, an Evodevo biologist. Lately, she's taken an interest in the tar, and I think she'd be eager to examine this particular specimen. It's quite Oh, hello, remarkable. Hartman. And that's to your credit. To clarify, she has been studying how the tar may oh, have my God, Hartman. the development of various organisms. Accordingly, I would ask that you also recover the tar collectors deployed. Yes, near of course. And deliver them. Yes, the of island. course. It's not it going to be too dangerous for her to attempt. To yes, but it's herself, fine for me to do it. Which is why we must impose a right. Value. Because By I don't matter research, at all. We may yet inch closer to unraveling the secret. These of the people dead treat Sam so poorly. So just to be clear. I mean, I we like Hartman. Help, I know we can accomplish even more. Like I actually uh like Hartman. He's not a terrible character. But everybody else can go fuck themselves. Oh my god. All right. What do you got for me? Okay, that's a fetch quest oh you want me to go into fucking terrorist territory and get that shit you see insect based food stuffs oh okay time sensitive insects from a hot environment to Hartman's lab uh that takes th that's you want me to do that in 30 fucking minutes look at look take a look at this map all right they want me to go over these mountains and shit and get back to Hartman's lab in 30 minutes I mean, like, I could do it, but I'm pretty sure that's BT area I gotta go through, too. Bro, okay. Uh, next time. What, what do you got for me? Extraction device. Ammonite delivery. Evo Devil Biologist. Man, you guys, this is BT area that I have to go into, by the way. Like, make it clear that that's what the bullshit that they want me to do right now. <sighs> okay. Hmm, I should really fabricate some more equipment. I'll be fine. You know, I keep saying that, and then, you know what, it's fine. Alright, let's go. Oh. You know what, I wonder... What the hell is that supposed to mean? Uh, okay. I know that voice actor, by the way. I can't remember where he's from, but I know him. Weapons restrictions lifted hard. Yep, you are. All right. What does it take to build a shelter? Safe house. Insufficient ground contact. Yeah, I don't even think I have the stuff to build it. I mean. I don't know where I'm going. You know what? Fuck it. Forget it. Hopefully I'll just find a structure on my way. I don't care anymore. Let's go. I hope it doesn't start raining. Because that sure would suck. Where am I going anyway? Oh. I'm literally walking in the wrong direction. Well. Okay. Well, at least my battery will recharge on the walk. Because it's, you know... A halfway decent looking day. When the sun's out, your battery recharges. Or when it's a clear skies. Bro, do I have to go through these fucking mountains again? I do, don't I? Hold on, man. Uh, oh boy. Where are we going? All the way the fuck over here. This is definitely BT area. Yeah. Son of a bitch. All right, let's fucking go, boys. This is going to be a nice, long walk. That's the theme, right? That's Lou's theme. I will hold you. 
and protect you. So let love warm you till the morning. All right, anyway, yeah, that's what he was just whistling there. So, oh my god, am I running out of battery again? Fuck off. Ooh, lost cargo, huh? I'll deliver that at some point. Whoa. Wait a minute. Oh. It's these guys. I can, like, hear them really well in my ear. Bro, I hope I don't run into, like, snowfall, which is timefall, but snow, so it's faster. It, like, it, like, I don't know if I ever explained what timefall is to this game, but it, like, makes everything it touches age, including you, all structures and everything. Anything that's not, like, natural earth it just forces it to age, like, really quickly. So, clothing, your face, your body, buildings. So, when it snows, then it's basically time fall, but snow, it's an even worse effect. It, like, it happens much faster. Everything ages quicker. How? What the hell was that noise? Oh. Shit, there's a generator over there. No, yeah, whatever. I could use that to re, uh, get my battery charged again, but I don't care. I really do think that Kojima would have done a fantastic job with the Silent Hill IP. I mean, we saw PT, it's the scariest shit that was ever fucking made, and I just wish that they would have- I wish Konami would get over their fucking bullshit, and they would have just hired Kojima or the original Team Silent to redo these games. I don't know what- I don't know. Oh, I love this song. Thanks for the help. This one's for you. Thanks for the help. This one's for you. I don't know where I'm fucking going. Uh. Okay, we're getting close. So lost. How could you be so lost? Okay, so, you know, going through these mountains actually wasn't really that bad, so that's okay. I just imagine how fucking cold he must be out here. I'm so glad it hasn't rained, though. These graphics are fucking intense on a 4K television, you know that. I just feel like the atmosphere of Death Stranding... This isn't a horror game, but there is, like, some pretty horrific atmospheric parts in this game. And, you know... A lot of people think that PT was basically just a way of telling Konami to fuck off. I mean, some of the stuff that could be translated... Oh my god, no! Some of the stuff that could be translated in it was... I mean, his own birthday is in the fucking game. Like, I don't know. It's like him taunting the CEO, they say. But I think that if he had actually been able to make PT an entire game like Silent Hills, the game he wanted to make, not Hill, but Silent Hills, the game he wanted to make, that we would have gotten something so amazing. God. Damn it, man. Yeah, that's, that's literally how I feel, Sam. The fucking rain is bullshit, bro. Ugh, this is definitely gonna be BT area, and this is definitely gonna be some bullshit. So here we fucking go. <laughs> yep. Son of a bitch. Okay, so let's look at the stuff growing on the ground. So that's like when BTs are around, that happens. Everything grows and then dies really fast. But yeah. Fuck. Gotta hold your breath. Oh boy! We're in it now, boys. Fuck it, I hate being in BT area. Scan, where are they? Alright. Alright. Uh... So luckily I got this here sticky gun, which is going to make my job a million times easier. Oh my god. Uh, you'll, we're fine. You see how there's like a baby right in the middle? It's terrifying. It's very depressing. There's a mom and a dad and a fucking baby and it's just like, look at that giant one though. See that big ass motherfucker? Yeah. Anyway, I'm just trying to get my stuff here. 
Stop saying hello. What the hell was that? Bro, again, if you're watching this, I always suggest that uh, you watch this with um, headphones in because the sound design is fucking terrifying. It is actually terrifying. Okay, should be fine. What the hell? Oh my god, something definitely heard me. Oh. Whoa. Whoa, I didn't know there was one right up there. Oh my god. Okay, let me just... Shit, dude. Fuck, that scared the living shit out of me. So the thing is, is I might engage. I might have to engage, which is... Uh, scary as hell. They basically drag you into a boss fight. It's not fun shit. Oh, boy. It knows where I'm at. It's looking for me. Oh, boy. Uh, shit. Um, can you leave me alone, bro? Oh, God. Oh, God. Please. The music gets more intense the closer these things are when they're looking for you and shit. Come on, please. Please, please, please. I'm just trying to pick shit up, please. Fuck. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, I can, like, hear a baby crying when you're near that little one. I don't know if you heard that. Okay, so... Shut up, Sam. I'm, I'm, I'm concentrating, okay? I'm trying to think of a strategy so we don't have to engage with the fucking enemy. Quit crying. Okay, they're close. Oh, yo, yo, yo! Yo. Uh. 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 Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, God. Blue, it's okay. Just, it's okay. Bro. Oh my god. Yo, get away from me! Oh, I'm scared. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Shit. Oh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> shit! Oh my god, my own luggage is scaring the living shit out of me right now. Okay. Yeah, that's a baby. You hear a cry? Oh, so just to be clear... Bro, they didn't cry like that when you sent them back. At least I don't remember that happening in the first game, but I could be wrong. Well, I don't know. I'll tell you what. One thing they cut out that was in the first game. I'll show you. It's very disappointing that they cut it out. The gun. When you pull out a new weapon, it doesn't make the sound anymore when you break it out of the case. Yeah. See? It doesn't even show you breaking it out of the case anymore. Which is super lame, but okay, I'll get over it, I guess. All right. Oh, that's a big one. Okay. You know, I have grenades, bro. I totally can, like, actually engage them if I want. Or, like, get rid of them by using grenades. Watch. Yeah, see, I killed it. Oh, that one's looking for me. Yeah, yeah. Look at that giant-ass one. I don't even want to fuck with that. Oh, my God. Uh, 
Uh. All right. I think I can grab. Where's the rest of this shit at? Like, I'm actually... Okay, over there. Okay. God damn it, you're gonna make me go... You're gonna make me go through all this shit. Oh, one of my cargo containers is ruined. Well, shit. Hold on a second. Shit! Oh, yeah, I forgot I'm in the rain right now. Can you get down? Where's my container repair spray? What are you doing? Can you just... There we go. Yep, I'm just out here, you know, fixing my cargo in the middle of the BT area. Alright, are we good? Can we go now? Oh, my container repair spray is empty. Well, I'll just... Uh, okay, let's go. I think you were afraid. I am afraid, Sam. I, I am. That's why we're standing here. Do you not see what's fucking around us right now? There's a fucking lot of them. And I gotta go directly over there. So, um, yeah, I need to get that. Thank God I only have two of them left, though. I just don't want to have to cross right over this territory. I'm trying to keep it down, bro. Like, it's not easy. Bro, they... Woo! They know I'm right here! They're coming for me! Oh, boy. Ooh. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, no. He knows. He knows where I am. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, shit! No! Fuck. Okay. Shit! All right. Uh. Uh. Shake him off, dude. There. Come on. Get off me! Shit, get off me! <laughs> Hold on. Look, if you guys are gonna try and pull me into a boss fight, let me at least... Oh, shit. Fuck. All right. Okay. Okay. I... Okay. I'm gonna leave this stuff over here, right? Because I'm just feeling like what's gonna happen is not gonna be good. So, I'm gonna leave this stuff over here when I go get my other stuff. Because I feel like I'm gonna get dragged into a boss fight. I'm feeling like that's what's gonna happen. Oh my god! Oh shit! Get down! Get down! Ah! No! Fuck! Shit! Yeah, climb up this. Climb up this. Don't let him get you! Don't let him get you! Fuck! Fuck! Bro, I can, like, straight piss on these motherfuckers. Watch. Watch. Oh, I was trying to piss on them. All right, maybe pissing on them right now is not such a good idea. But, like, it actually does make them stop attacking you. Like, pissing on them. I'm not even kidding you. It literally does. Get off me! Yo! Get the fuck! All right, bro, we're fucked. Uh, you know, it's a good thing I dropped off my luggage because I knew this was going to happen. I had a feeling. You know, I should probably... All right, let me get my actual weapon out. Uh, yeah. Shit. Oh, good, there's two of them. Fuck. Oh, my God. All right, all right, dude. So, yeah, boss fights are fucking terrifying in this game, by the way. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. Ah! Oh! Oh, God! 
Oh god! Oh fuck, I haven't- Oh my god, run! RUN! Shit, I haven't made sure that Lou isn't stressed out and like, oh no. Okay, get away from me! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, so like I said, boss fights are actually fucking terrifying in this game. I am desperately trying to get away from these fuckers right now. I need to get on top of stuff. I need to get on high ground so I can actually plan my attack. Oh god. Okay, here we go. Look, motherfucker. Shit. Lou, I know you're stressed out, but like, I don't have time to come for you right now. Like, we are in the middle of a fucking boss fight right now. Is this my stuff? by the way. Ah! Fuck! Lou's stress level is increasing. I know! Yeah, yeah, thank you. Oh my god! Why are these things so scary? I'm so scared right now. I'm probably gonna die. Like, I actually think I might die. Oh my gosh. Okay. Come on. Ah! <laughs> oh, fuck! Get out of the way! God. I feel like something's right beside me. Holy shit, dude! Climb up this wall, Sam, because these motherfuckers are, like, really coming for us. Shit. Where are you gonna come from? Shit. Okay, I need more... Get his ass! I just found a nice little spot to hide, and I'm just gonna chuck grenades at this fucker. I don't know where these fucking things are. Oh. Okay. Ah! Ah! Oh, shit! Okay. Why do there have to be two of you, though, honestly? It's fucking annoying. Fucking die already! Ah! Ah! Holy shit! Why is this so terrifying? Okay. kill shot for that one but we still have another one to fuck with to fucking deal with so oh shit all right this one's dead yeah look at all the shit you get out of this it's great
Hold on a second. I will deal with you in a second. Let me just pick up my loot. I hear his ass over there. Oh, hey. Hey, buddy. Okay. He, hey. He might be a little pissed off that I killed his brother. I don't know. I... Oh my god, he's just walking through things. I don't know if you saw that, but that was terrifying. Oh, this is a remote stun bomb. Son of a bitch! That is not the right weapon. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, hold on. Let me get out the right weapon. Excuse me. Just one second. Let me get my shit together, please. Ah, uh, why are you throwing that? Fuck. Okay, I spent entirely too long in this boss fight, and really what I just realized is that, like, my my cargo is being damaged, like, really bad, so I have to restart, which is... Yeah, that was, like, fucking 40 minutes ago. It's 4.05, and that was it. Yeah, but, yeah, so... <sighs> Look, it's like nothing ever happened. I like how the boss music was still sort of playing there. Like, it knows exactly what I did. It knows I reloaded. And I'm like, yeah, I did, because that was fucking terrifying. And, like, also my cargo was getting ruined. I noticed the messages in the corner, and I was like, hold on, man. It's actually pretty pertinent that I get... This cargo is a main storyline cargo, so it's, like, actually pretty important that I get it back not being all fucked up. Yep. That's Death Stranding. <laughs>